take you, we have gone through creation, through sin, through the flood and uh, uh, the supper scattering of language and the scattering of people. And now faith begins to unfold in Genesis chapter 12. So let's begin with just a few verses. The Lord had said to Abraham, leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous, and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families on the earth will be blessed through you. That's God's word to Abram. And let's see what Abram did about it. So Abram departed as the Lord instructed, and Lot went with him. And Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran. He took his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, and all his wealth, his livestock, and all the people he had taken into his house. And he ran, and he headed for the land of Canaan. When they arrived in Canaan, Abraham traveled through the land as far as Shechem. There he set up camp beside the oak tree. At, the, at that time, the area was inhabited by the Canaanites. In just a few words, this is when uh, the shape of our faith really begins to take on form. It is, has already been laid out, but now it is in a man named Abraham in Genesis chapter 12. And what this man does is extraordinary. He leaves his lifeline. That's really what it means. It's not like today where, you know, Johnny grows up and goes to school and goes to college and says, now I'm taking off and there's a job that's offered in another state or another country. It's not the same way at all. Clans were together during that time. They represented their lifeline. And what God is calling this man, Abraham, to do is to leave his lifeline and now, go follow me. And look what he says, and the God says in his promise, that not only his own family would be blessed, but you and I would be blessed as a result of what this man would do. Now, through the experience and life of Abraham, you get to see him grow. You get to see him mature. You get to see his weakness and his errors. You get to see the operation of flesh. And you get to see the operation of spirit. This is the marvelous thing about God's word. But now in Abraham and then his son Isaac and then Jacob and then out of Jacob, 12 sons that become the 12 tribes of Israel. This promise again from Genesis chapter 3 of this experience of this serpent that we talked about in the second session. The seed of the serpent and the seed of woman is being worked out through Abraham, and through Isaac, and through Jacob. Another incredible event in our faith heritage. You should take the time to read it, just as I did with my family, and as the APC staff has done, as we have gone through it. May the Lord bless you, and never forget Genesis chapter 12. Amen, and thank God. Lord, we thank you for these few moments, Holy Spirit. Sharing about it. Oh, no.